Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So sorry to keep you guys waiting and this is the new video. Today I'm gonna give you another motion template. So this is under the LC tools pack and it's the camera movements that fix, you know, camera movements. And as you can see, there are already a number of elements inside this toolbox and you can get this for free the link to download this toolbox is in the description and just click the link and download the file and that's all you need to do and if you have not been updated with all the latest tools in this toolbox you can check out my older videos as well and let's go to the installation part as usual so where you can install this pack is just go to go home movies motion templates titles and just paste the lc tool folder over here or alternatively you can just paste any of these folders these subfolders into the motion template titles folder as well restart final cut pro and go to the titles and generators sidebar find lc tools and you can see that there are a lot of things over here and find the camera movements that's all you need to do and how to apply is pretty simple as well and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Alright, let's check out the video that I have in the timeline. It's a very normal, typical stationary fixed cam unboxing video of the latest iPhone 14 Pro Max. And as you can see that this video is kind of boring. No movement of the camera to create effects. And you can usually spice things up with different tools and editing, you know, transform or rotation or position actually so with this camera movement tool it simplifies things up quite a bit you can turn on and off the guidelines by selecting or deselecting the guidelines and obviously there are different zoom types so the original one is like this so if you want to create a zoom and hold play it's just like this zoom into this one and you can obviously shorten this period of, you know, to make it happen precisely at a moment where you unbox the iPhone. And obviously there are different types as well, zoom and move. So zoom and move is just, you know, when you zoom in and you move out slightly or you can move in a little bit more like this. So, yep, it's going to move in very slowly. Since it's pretty self-explanatory, I'm not going to show you everyone, so I'm just going to pick and choose, for example, out and in, this is more dynamic, you know, create those dramatic effect, and with timings, you know, precisely at, for example, the unboxing movement, it can create those tensions, and you know, with the simple zoom out movement, it's going to create those effects to make your unboxing video more fun. On the other hand, you can also try out the movements presets actually. You can use, say, for example, pan left. And once you hit play, you can see that the camera is slowly moving to the left. And, you know, you can zoom in a little bit like this. So there is a zoom and it's going to the left although not very obvious of course and you can also change to right or you know up or down and if you think that the preset is not very significant you can also at a start create say a keyframe at here and go to the end of the clip and change the direction say if you want to move to the left or to the right and once you hit play, yep, there's going to be a motion. And just bear in mind that the magnitude of the panning should not be too big because there's going to be a black bar on the side of the screen if you have a very big magnitude of this pan. And if you want, you can also do a combination of rotation and, you know, panning. For example, just now, the panning is a little bit too big, so I'm going to change it to, say, 85, and create keyframe at rotation, say here, uh, at 6.3, 
and at the beginning everything back to zero and once you hit play that the zoom is going to you know be rotating and if you want to make it even you know a bigger emotion you can always increase the zoom magnitude and increase the rotation like this something like that and let's try it out as you can see that there is this you know black bars at the bottom left and top right hand corner and if you want you can change things up by creating more keyframes and you know just to make things smoother and then you know change the keyframe timings and everything and I am sure that you know how to do it so I'm not gonna explain any further and this marks the end of today's video hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please remember to drop me a comment if not please remember to if not please remember to subscribe and like this video thank you very much and bye bye